Hello, John Talley here with Boats.net. Today I'm going to walk you through the really simple process of a simple oil change on our 2003 Yamaha T60 engine. We only need oil and a filter, so let's step over to the table, look at what I chose, and then we can dive into this project. Now this is a smaller engine and we're only going to need two quarts of the Yamalube. And I would suggest that you go with it or at least make sure whatever oil that you do choose is a marine grade quality. Also, filter, might as well go in the OEM, that way you know it's going to fit. So now that we've got our oil and our filter, let's step over there and we'll get this done. Let's start by getting the cowling off. get our fill plug out. And we'll go ahead and pull the dipstick. Now our drain plug is a 14 millimeter right up in here. And so we don't make a big mess. Let me go ahead and bring over our stool and a drain pan. I know that's supposed to be 13 foot-pounds. That felt like a lot more than 13 to release it. Let's see what kind of shape this oil is in. Ooh. Now what I'm noticing is that is really, really thin. It smells like it had gas in it. This shouldn't smell like two-stroke pre-mix, and that's what it smells like. All right, because this unit has so much fuel in the oil, when I go to work on the fuel system, I'll end up changing it again to try to get as much of that out of there as possible. That's pretty much finished draining. Make sure you've got your little crush washer here. We're going to put this back in and go ahead and torque it to 13 foot-pounds. And just an FYI, that's the same torque figure that we're going to put on the... Uh, the oil filter. All right. Let's address the oil filter. Go ahead and put a rag or a paper towel. If there's any residual that comes out, probably will be. And so I've noticed the fuel smell is not quite as strong in the filter. So that tells me it is from it sitting for so long that it's let some fuel get down into the crankcase. There we go. Now let's get a fill back up. And as I said in the intro, it holds 1.9 quarts. So that's where we're going to head. Oh, so 1.9, that's one quart. We're going to take it about down to here. And that should do. Plug back in. Well, all right, guys, all you need to do next is just crank yours up, let it run for about four or five minutes, set for about 30 seconds, then go back and check your level. Me, I still have several more projects to do on this particular outboard. Now, if you'd like to see that happen, why don't you hit that subscribe button? That way you'll be notified when we set those next videos live. Well, listen, if you need any parts for your boat, why don't you come see us at boats.net and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at boats.net and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.